Walter Komira says he opted for journalism as a profession after admiring the work of the now deceased news anchor, Bale Francis of the Uganda Broadcasting Corporation and Uganda Television, before. The physically disabled man explains that his state has not had a bearing on his work and chasing his dream. I almost covered all the four divisions within Gulu municipality, looking for stories. Sometimes I go past these divisions. Despite the harsh working environment for journalists, that is even worse up country, Kumira soldiers on. Every working day, he walks for at least four kilometers from his home in Kasubi village, Badenge division, to his workplace at Speak FM, a local radio station managed by the Women's Focused NGO Forum for Women in Democracy. I walk for at once for one hour, but I make sure I walk for 30 mi minutes, because at 8.30, I have to attend a morning newsroom meeting. With the walking from home to here, it is another problem. The radio runs on a shoestring budget, so Kumira is not fully facilitated with transport to do his job. The fans are well around and religiously files his stories. Any single issues that is in the community, he is always down there to go and dig the details and let the community be aware through reporting. So he has been doing this work. Sometimes I pity him when I see him like walking. And I've come to realize that to be a journalist, sometimes you need to sacrifice. Kumira supervisor Jackie Adure, who is the news editor at Speak FM, says the station tries its best to work amid its financial challenges since they are not after profit but community development. So in the newsroom we receive very minimal facilitation and uh, he manages to move. I really can't tell how he manages to move. What I can say is if I give him a story to follow up, he fulfills, meaning he has gone to, the, to, to those places. But one thing I know is that he moves on foot. President of the Northern Uganda Media Club, Moses Odokonyero, says on the occasion to mark World Press Freedom Day, that was marked on Wednesday, journalism celebrates the resilience of foot soldiers like Kumira, who strive to do the work of the fourth estate despite the odds. The media all over the country should evaluate and ask, how do these challenges that we face, how can they be addressed? The legal challenges, the, uh, the economic challenges, he added that most media houses and journalists are beset by political, legal and economic woes, which affect their work, but he challenged journalists to emulate Kumira's past. <laughs>